My name is Emma Anderson and I'm one of two library assistants here at Lambeth Palace Library. So I acted as assistant curator on this exhibition. The impetus and all the ideas for the exhibition were from the lead curator, my colleague Julia, and then I joined in to help wherever was needed really. Um, in the end, I ended up curating two cases on my own. So my favourite item from the exhibition is this English Saxon homily on the birthday of St Gregory that was translated from the Old English by Elizabeth Elstob uh, in the early 18th century. There's lots of things I really like about it. It's got lots of really unusual features. It begins with this very long dedication to Queen Anne that draws a spiritual genealogy, a genealogy of Christianity, suggesting that that was largely sort of carried through women. It draws a link between lots of women from Helena, the mother of Empress Constantine, through to St. Bertha of Kent, and then to Queen Elizabeth I. And that's illustrated with a really nice inhabited engraved initial right at the beginning of the text. Then moving through to the main body of the text, it has a side-by-side -side translation of the Old English and the Modern English for the time that was the early 18th century. And the translation and the both begin with a engraved inhabited portrait initial again. Elfric's begins with an engraving of him and Elizabeth Elstob's translation begins with a portrait of her. This is a really strong statement of intellectual ownership over a text. It's really unusual for the time um, and definitely particularly for a woman. I've, no, I've not seen much like it elsewhere. I've definitely, I've really enjoyed seeing the breadth of women's work that has gone into making this exhibition, both historically in terms of the content of the exhibition. We've got women who are printers, authors, book owners, scribes, gifters, and then in a contemporary perspective from the varied work that women in the library have done to put the exhibition on. Fairly accidentally, we've been an all-female team and I've really enjoyed seeing the work done by my colleagues in the collections care department, the Archives Department and the Operations Department. My favourite woman from this exhibition is a late 16th century London printer named Joan Orwin. We, we don't know when she was born, but we do know that she married three consecutive printers in a row. And as each of them sadly passed away, she inherited their business. So by the time her third husband had passed away, she really owned quite a printing empire. She then traded in independently for a couple of years and she was extremely successful on her own as well. And um, whatever you think about her life story, I think you have to really admire her tenacity. I was really interested to learn that in 16th century Paris, women, when they got married, didn't always take their husband's surnames, which means that we're far more easily able to trace them in legal documents and in printers' imprints. I've definitely been surprised by the number of 18th century, quite conservative clerics who were very on board with the movement for women's education that was happening at that time. I think that we tend to conceive of book production places of early printed books and of manuscripts as being this very masculine environment and very all-male space and I've definitely learned on this exhibition that, that really isn't the case at all. There are lots of female scribes and there was definitely lots of women present in the printing houses. I hope that people take away from the exhibition a sense of the amount of work that women have put into establishing our literary culture both in terms of the authorship, in terms of the physical production of books and in terms of presenting it to us today.